Hey, what's going on, guys? It's Mac here from Cryptstar Staking here for a long time no see video. Uh, very excited to talk to you guys today about the new ledger staking for Aleph Zero. It's finally available. Woohoo! Now, just to let you guys know, the ledger staking is still in the beta form, so. There's not a lot, a lot of risk, I don't think, involved in using today's tutorial, but if you do want to go ahead and wait for the official Ledger Live update, then, you know, feel free. But today's video, we're going to talk about, we're going to walk through the process of installing the new Azero app onto your Nano Ledger S or Nano Ledger S Plus device. It's not available right now for Nano Ledger X because the developer did not create the front end for that. You can go ahead and go to the Zondax GitHub and compile it yourself and install using Ubuntu. I believe you can also use it. Uh, on a Mac by, by installing, I think it's called Ledger Blue or something like that. But today's video is not gonna be focused on that. If you really wanna do it and you only have a Ledger X, then I recommend just waiting for the Ledger Live update, which will probably come in the next couple of weeks. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, jump right into the video. Oh, sorry, one more thing. Uh, today's video, we're gonna be covering how to add the app to your Ledger device, how to go ahead and have, add multiple accounts to your Ledger device and you can stake to you can stake to a pool or you can go ahead and stake to a uh, validator if you have 2000 or more directly using a stash account so i'll walk you all the way up to the process of creating a stash but i'm not going to actually stake because i don't have an extra 2000 i love zero if you want to go ahead and donate to the channel 2000 i love zero feel free and uh, i'll go ahead and make a tutorial for you on how to stake 2000 i love zero with your nano ledger s device just for you <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, let's go ahead and jump into the video, guys. So yeah, today we're going to be using the hub Zondex.ch. This is the official hub, uh, ledger hub for the Zondex developer who is creating the, the Nano Ledger uh, app for Aleph Zero. Now you can see here they have all sorts of different uh, apps you can install. Today we're going to be using the Aleph Zero app. And I did uh, go ahead and buy an overhead camera so I can go ahead and walk you guys through the process on the Nano Ledger device itself. Make it really easy for you. So let's go ahead and go to Aleph Zero, or sorry, go to Connect Device here, and it'll pop up here on your on your Nano Ledger S device. You can see here, it'll see Deny Safe Manager. Just go ahead and go to the right, look, and go to Allow Safe Man Unsafe Manager, and, you know, press OK. Now, we're gonna go ahead and it'll update on the screen here. Device connected, cool. So from there, you just want to go ahead and make sure you're on the newest version of the Aleph Zero app and install it. Yes, I'm sure. Read through the terms and conditions. Press accept and confirm. And go ahead and it'll, it'll push it to your Nano Ledger device. You'll see it's now loading on the screen here. Just go ahead and wait. Sorry, wait just a second. Then scroll to the right and press perform installation. Put in your PIN number. And you can see here on the bottom right, you can see the let the Aleph app on the on the bottom here. It'll say Aleph. This is how you know it's from the the uh, the Zondax hub and not from the official Aleph Zero uh, Ledger Live store. You can see here Aleph Zero is from the official one, and Aleph is just for the Zondax hub, which is kind of weird because Aleph IM is a different blockchain. But we're not going to talk about that. Uh, anyways, let's go back to the screen here. And you can see it's now installed on my Nano Ledger S device. Now, I've actually already messed up this tutorial twice. So I've used both the first and the second account on my Ledger Live. So I'm gonna show you guys how to add a third account to your Ledger device and go ahead and create a stash. And then if you wanna stake from there, you can, if you have 2000 or more. And also show you guys how to join the Cryptstar staking pool because Cryptstar staking is the best LF0 pool that you can join. Now let's go ahead and go to the accounts page here. Uh, before you do that, you wanna make sure you disconnect from Ledger Live. You can do that here from Brave by pressing the X button, or you can go here and hit disconnect. So you have to make sure you disconnect from this app because you can only connect to one app at a time from the, uh, from the, from the GUI here. Now let's go ahead and go to the accounts and go to from ledger this is the official azero.dev wallet now go ahead and press from ledger like i said we're going to go to index uh three just because i kind of messed up and i used the other two indexes and i'm already staking and i created a stash and i don't want to wait 14 days 
So here we go, ledger. Three. Press save. Okay. I accidentally, it'll, it'll, it might close the uh, app on your device. So you just need to make sure that you go ahead and if it gives you this error, make sure you just open up the Aleph app again. And then it'll show it's not genuine. Just scroll to the right and press open application. Now let's go back here. And all you have to do is press save and it should pop up here. And boom, you can see a ledger three with 50 as zero in it. Now let's go to the staking tab here, network staking. And from then we'll go to, let's go ahead and go to targets. Uh, sorry, account. And you can see I have the ledger, ledger accounts here. Uh, now we're gonna go ahead and create a stash. This is if you have 2000 or more Aleph Zero, you create a stash. If you're doing a pool, go ahead and skip to later in the video, uh, right after this, about you know one minute later. So you can watch this if you want. Uh, press stash. Uh, we're gonna click on ledger three and ledger three. A stash can actually be as much as you want, but you need 2000 or more in the stash in order to be able to stake it. So. Yeah, not a big deal. Let's go ahead and press bond and press sign and submit. And go ahead and you can see here on your ledger, it'll pop up. You want to create a stash? Yes. And boom. We now have a stash of one out of zero. All right. So once you've actually created the stash, you can go ahead and nominate your validator. In this case, we'll be choosing Cryptstar. This is going to fail because you need 2000 or more in the stash to go ahead and nominate. But we're going to go ahead and just walk you through the process here. Go ahead and press nominate here. And then the little thing will pop up on your, your I Love Zero app. You have to press sign and submit first. And then it'll go ahead and pop up on your I Love Zero app. You can see here, please review. Scroll to the right and hit approve. Now this is gonna be an er error on the screen just because staking an insufficient bond. You need 2000 or more. So if you don't have 2000, let's just go ahead and head over to pools. And you can see Cryptstar staking here. We're going to go ahead and join this pool from my third ledger and we're going to go ahead and just increase the value to let's say 40 or whatever it is 49 uh, 49 48 so 48 is like the max amount i can do from this account because i only have 48 as zero in here so we're going to go ahead and just press join from there and then we're going to go sign and submit And go ahead and look at your ledger device. Please review. Scroll all the way to the right here. Sorry, the one to the left, and then press approve. And on your screen, it will show you a little green mark because we had enough to go ahead. You need 10 or more to go ahead and stake to a pool, and I have 10 or more. So, go ahead and finalize that, and we're done. So, now, yeah. Woohoo! So, yes. Cryptstar, we were the first YouTube channel to go ahead and make a ledger staking video. So if you haven't already, please give us a big thumbs up. And we are really excited to go ahead and bring you guys more Aleph Zero uh, videos in the future. So I'll see you guys next time. Have a great week, guys, and peace out.